taking a look at an affordable and still yet very useful piece of tactical hardware. Let's dig into it. So when it comes to the range time and practicing with your firearms, it's important to have a good system, especially if you're using a tactical rifle like an AR or an AK. It's a really good or almost necessity to have a good chest rig or chest something to carry all your magazines, your mags uh, for your pistols, your mags for your rifles, multi-tools, knives, handguns, all those kinds of tactical things that come into play when you are you know, practicing tactical shooting. So as I have my awesome and still very beloved uh, rifle here to kind of show you the rifle I'm using for this system. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look actually not at the rifle but rather at this chest set and this chest set of course as the title says is the Condor um, modular chest set and we're going to be doing a review on it. So let's dig into this chest set. Now like I said this is the Condor modular chest set and why I chose it. To start off, I'm going to tell you why I chose it. So the primary reason I chose it is, I hope you guys can kind of see here with, you know, the dagger, multi-tool pouch, pouches, magazines decked out, um, uh, what is this, water bladder hose here, is as the name basically says, this is a modular chest set. And what that means is that it's very modular. It's something that you can, you know, really um, build to what you want or what you need. And that's the primary reason I chose it. As you guys can see, there is a ton of PALS webbing everywhere. There's PALS webbing all the way across the front of the chest set. There's PALS webbing on this little admin pouch. There's PALS webbing on the um, shoulder straps. There's PALS webbing all over the back of this thing there's just pals webbing on the sides of it everywhere so basically wherever you want to put something there's a pals webbing for it and that was my primary draw to this uh, system but the second reason i chose this system is because there is a chest spot for this and unlike so many chest sets or lbes there's no real area for the chest to put stuff and what i like about this is you have a nice little uh little admin pouch in here that's actually surprisingly deep it goes down to right around here actually goes down just a little bit deeper so it actually ends right about this belt buckle or this little buckle here and so you have a spacious inside little pouch for putting maps, putting whatever you might need. But you also get, like I said, molly up here where you can put stuff like you see here, my ice dagger. Or you can even, I've seen quite a few people run pistols off of this. So if you want to run a pistol off of this, you can also do that. And, you know, that eliminates having to have a holster on your side. So you could put potentially pistol magazines here, your spare pistol magazines here, and a spare, not spare, but a, your fighting pistol right here, which would be another great use of this area. Now the third reason I chose this chest set above other chest sets is because it has the area, as you can see back here, for a 100 ounce, if not even more, uh, water bladder for the back of it. So I like that feature too, because if you're running gunning out in the hot summer, it's really nice and convenient to have something for hydration. So I like that feature. So those are the top three reasons. So those are the top three reasons I chose this chest set. And as you guys can see, um, <clears throat> I've done a pretty good job at using all of those features. So far, what I've thought of it as far as quality and usability goes, I'm very much impressed with it. I know Condor usually gets a really bad rap about it being low quality or airsoft quality or cheap. A lot of people prefer your London Bridge Tactical or your LBTs you know their chest rig stuff or your cry precision chest rigs or really plate carriers 
and you know they make great stuff I'm not gonna lie <clears throat> but at the same time Condor can really be good I think Condor I have quite a few things from them and they're often overlooked and trash talked and bad mouthed in the tactical shooting community but they really make gear that <clears throat> works at the same level uh, as your cry as your London Bridge as all of your really big names in the tactical gear uh, kind of like brands range and like I said it, they get a lot of crap but they really are good so looking at features of this uh, chess set of course the stock base has tons of palace webbing as I've mentioned and as you guys can see here but the stock actual chess set comes with the ability to hold six magazines sorry you can't see uh, the, this three over here as well because of this but it comes with the ability to hold six uh, magazines and from what I found due to how they have these shot cord bungee cords here you can make this expandable so that it can hold up to something like an AK magazine and that's something that I really do like because as a person who has both an AK and an AR I like having a chess set that if I want to run uh, the AK or the AR, like if I want to throw an AK magazine in here, I absolutely can. I just adjust the shot cord out so that, it, that this little tab here can accommodate the AK sized mags. Or if I want to run it like you see with the AR platform, I can easily throw the AR mags in here, adjust this down to fit, and it works beautifully. Now a couple other things I have on here, I do have two. Uh, these are just military issue double uh, M4 or AR mag holders and I kind of use them for that but primarily I just kind of have them on here more to be general purpose pouches because I like having something out here that's easy to access so that's why I normally leave these things empty I just kind of have it showing that if I wanted to expand my magazine capacity I can hold up to 10 magazines but these realistically would just see use as general purpose pouches. Then the next one I have here is a um, multi-tool pouch or pistol magazine pouch so if I want to carry a spare magazine for the pistol and I want it in an accessible area I can carry that right here or I can just leave it out for a multi-tool or just some general purpose pouch. That's how I like to leave most of my pouches. In addition to that, I've also shown in the past, uh, in other videos, that I can easily throw an IFAC on either side of this um, <coughs> chest set. So that's another possibility that I could throw out there if I wanted to. So other than that, like I said, I have the ice dagger up here. I don't really carry anything in this little admin pouch per se, just maybe stuff like when I'm filming, I usually carry the lens cap for the camera in there, but just little general things like that is what I normally carry in the admin pouch. And <clears throat> so that's the basic features to it. It's made out of Cordura nylon, as is 98% of the things in this tactical gear category. I really have no complaints with the quality of it so far. If I do have any complaints, I'll certainly do an update to this review. But overall, I wanted to share this uh, piece of gear with you guys because I think it's a really different chest set. It's something that allows you to have something up here on your chest or having it, having an expandable um, piece here so that if you want to run your handgun, your knives, uh, something off of this kind of chest area, it allows you to do that pretty easily. Um, whereas most LBEs or chest sets like this don't allow for that. I also like the fact that unlike most LBEs, there's so much palace webbing on this thing that it allows you to easily integrate anything that you want to have on here. So like I said, you can carry pouches like this on this thing with ease. You can carry IFACs, you can strap knives, handguns, all to your uh, LBE or chest set really easily. And I think that this thing has quite a few features that just set it a step above, in my opinion, uh, than most of your standard chess sets or LBEs. So that's why I wanted to do a video on it, kind of feature it. Plus, I always like sharing with you guys what I'm using for tactical shooting and kind of what I'm learning. And, you know, as I learn what's good, what's not good, I kind of like to share with you guys that. Um, 
hope you guys have enjoyed this, and as always, God bless, and I'm out.